Hello and welcome to the MPSCS how-to series on using radio management. Today going to go over adding new radios to radio management. Once we're logged in, we're going to go to add or modify requests. We're then going to come down to the new request button. We're going to click the new request button. We're then going to choose the agency. If you're a local agency, you may only see yourself. If you are a vendor, you will see all the agencies that you have gotten memorandums of understanding to do their radio management. We're then going to go to the sub agencies. Sub agencies, most agencies will only see one, some will see multiple. We're then going to go to request type. The first request we're going to do is we are going to do a add radios from existing template, or we're going to basically duplicate an existing radio. We're then going to enter our contact information. Email addresses that we would like to get notified at as the ticket moves through the process. We can enter up to four separated by semicolons. We're then going to go to the comments field and we're going to enter any comments that we have for the template design unit or the programming group. Once our comments are entered, you'll see that the save icon up here becomes a dark color. Click on that, save it. It will now issue your transaction number that you will use for tracking this ticket through the rest of the process. Once that has happened, you come down here and you use the plus sign to create. Today, we're going to add three radios to this ticket. We're going to add two Motorola radios. First, we en enter or copy over the serial number, then the flash code for a Motorola radio. We're then going to go to model family. We're going to choose the family that this radio is from, and these radios are going to be Apex 4000s. We then are going to go to the actual model of the radio. This information will all be available on the back of the radio and would be available within CPS. We're then going to choose that this is a 6AN. We can choose an existing template. Prefix. At this point, we have entered all the information that is required. At this point, we're going to add a second Motorola radio that is also all the same information as the first. We can come up here to the duplicate. We duplicate. We then enter our second serial number. And the rest of it can stay the same because they are from the same model family. We're now going to add a Viking series radio from Kenwood EF Johnson. We enter the serial number. We don't need to enter a flash code. These radio models do not require a flash code. We then are going to come up to the top here where it says model family and we can type Viking and then we can click the search button. It will then bring it back. These are Viking mobiles. So we're going to choose a Viking mobile. We're going to come over to model and these are 5930s. So we're going to choose model 5930. Again, if you know the prefix for your radios, you can choose that. On EF Johnson radios, we do need to enter the ESN. At this point, we're going to save these records.
Now, before we submit this ticket, we're going to come up here to this cloud icon for attachments. We're going to go and we're going to choose files. And for each of the Motorola radios, we only need one of that model and flash code combination radios. For Viking series radios, we will need a read from each radio, Viking radio as there is information embedded within those files that we need to complete our programming. Uh, we are requesting reads from all motor, from at least one of the Motorola radios because we have had issues with firmware incompatibilities. So this way we are always starting from the same firmware that is on the radio. Once those files have been added, we click the X that closes the cloud. We know that we have attached files now because the icon has turned green. We are then going to come over here and we are going to submit the request. And now your ticket has been submitted. At this point, you will receive an email that tells you that your ticket has been submitted and will include your transaction number. Once TDU has looked at your radios, has assigned IDs to them, and has moved them over into the billing process, you will receive a notification that that has taken place. Once your invoice has been paid, the activation fees are satisfied, the billing department will then move your ticket over into the RPU programming queue. You will receive a notification again when this happens. You will receive a final notification when the radio programmers have completed your request and completed the ticket, at which point you will come back into this ticket. You will go back to the cloud. You will click on the cloud and there will be now be a file here or multiple files that are ready for you to download and program your radios. We're now going to go over adding a radio using a new template. So we're going to do a new request. We're going to select an agency. Again, we're going to select a sub agency. This time, we're going to add radios with a new template. Again, we're going to add our contact information. We're going to add comments. Once our comments have been added, we're going to again go up and we're going to save. We then will come down here to add a radio. Hit the plus sign to add a row. Enter your radio information, serial number, flash code, model family. Again, these are Apex 4000s. And they are six ends. And we're not going to choose a prefix this time uh, unless you are overwrite, you are updating your existing template, at which point you can come in here, choose your prefix, and we will know that you are updating a current template. You then will hit save. Again, we are going to go to the cloud. We're going to go to choose files. We're going to choose a file that will be used to start the programming. We're then going to add 
a template. The new template will be added. Again, we go back, we hit the close. Green shows that we have attached our files and we submit our request. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned for more on different options within radio management.